Money. Money. Well, today I thought I'd talk a little bit about credit cards and where to take your credit card complaints. The Consumer Financial Production Bureau has opened a one-stop complaint center for all credit card related issues. Until recently, if you had complaints, you had to try working through the credit card companies on your own. And we all know that that's not the easiest uh, task to take on. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau's sole purpose is to protect the rights of you the consumer. You can go to consumerfinance.gov and click on submit a credit card complaint. This will take you to a simple form that asks you to describe what happened in and categorize your complaint from a menu of 30 different items such as billing disputes and credit line increase or decrease. You'll also be able to ask how much money you've there ask how much money you've lost if there were any and when the incident occurred and what you have already done to resolve the problem. Next you'll be asked to describe the problem and provide a content content information. You can expect written confirmation from the CFPB and it'll forward a complaint to the credit card company. Now, once you've registered your complaint, you can check the status online. If the credit card company doesn't respond in a timely manner and resolve the complaint, the protection from the CFPB, they'll receive a number of similar, if they receive a number of similar complaints, then they'll likely launch an investigation. So again, it's for your protection and just that backup um, of a higher power that can help you in a situation that you're not getting information that you want with the credit card companies themselves. This puts some accountability on the actual credit card companies. Now, there are things that the credit card company do not want you to know. So I want to list these for you. First and number one, they're waiting for you to have a late payment. Despite new credit rules, there are still many factors that can cause a credit card issue to raise your interest rate. Among them is when a lender reviews your credit history and decides to change the terms of your credit card after it's informed that you've missed a payment with another credit card company. So the Credit Card Accountability Responsibility and Dispute Act does offer consumer protection should your credit card company change the terms on your credit card in most cases they can only do this per, on purchases moving forward not the balances that you already have again that's on most situations prior to the reform most of the credit card companies would review risk on an average over the last 90 days now second with the credit card act Companies need to give you at least 45 days in advance notice before making any significant changes to your account, such as increasing the rate or changing any of the fees. Now, if your credit card company is going to make changes on the term of your card, they must give you the option to cancel the card before the changes take effect. So you now have the right to reject any new items. If you do reject the charges, the credit card company can either maintain the account under the existing terms from your previous balance or the closed on the closed accounts or either or, or put the responsibility for you paying off the balances under the original terms. Now, the third thing the credit card companies don't want you to know is companies can't increase the interest rate for the first 12 months with some exceptions. Again, there's exceptions to every rule, but such as your adjustable rate or if there's an introductory rate that has more than 60 days late, so then that would be an, an exception to that rule. Otherwise, they've got 12 months before that can be increased. Now, four, there are restrictions on over the limit transactions. You must opt in allowing transactions to take you over your limit so if you don't and they allow your transaction to go through then the charge that you actually receive you can dispute that charge and last there are caps on credit cards if your credit card company requires you to pay fees such as an annual fee or an application fees the fees cannot total more than 25 percent of the original credit limit so for an example if your initial credit limit is 500 the fees for the first year can't exceed 125 dollars so so there's tips on everything. That's why I love doing this show so much and why it's called the money hour, because there's a lot of aspects when it comes to your money uh, credit card. I've got two experts in here talking about um, 
uh, your financial freedom, also in the real estate arena. I do mortgages. There's so much information. And to be able to share that with you, uh, just an hour of week, there's just not enough time. So I highly encourage to take advantage of the show and the experts that I bring into studio. Any questions that you have, any topics that you want me to bring into studio or experts that you'd like to hear from, please put in your request. You can give the show a call at one 855 1150 or online at themoneyhour.com. And going online, you can actually search for anything that you're interested in getting information on the years that I've done the show. Most likely, I've probably had that conversation in studio. So we do uh, stream and podcast all of our uh, all of our shows. And just a shout out being that, again, I do mortgages for a living. The interest rates were at an all-time low. If you look at the history of the interest rates for the last two years, we've hit an all-time low. Why this keeps happening, all experts, including myself, can't give you an answer. I mean, it's just crazy in what's happening with these interest rates. Take advantage of the market. Uh, any of you that are listening, they're on an FHA loan have purchased a home on an FHA loan. If you have not talked with your mortgage consultant, if you don't have a trusted advisor that you can go to, call me again. That's what I do. You want to look at refinancing. The mortgage insurance has dropped substantially on FHA loans. Now, not only is the mortgage insurance dropped, but the interest rates have dropped as well. So that combination is just a, a huge savings that you can see. Now, if you've been approved on an FHA loan and you're out there kind of on the fence and haven't found a property yet, you need to get in contact with your mortgage consultant because depending on how much you're borrowing you've just got an increase in buying power anywhere from twenty to fifty thousand uh, dollars if you're buying a, a half a million dollar home you're going to be close to that fifty thousand if you're buying in the three hundred thousand dollar range maybe you've got a twenty twenty five thousand dollar increase so because of the monthly payment savings I always like to, to calculate that into buying power because really that's what it's all about. You've got a raise in your buying power. So you need to connect with your lender and see how the combination of the lower mortgage insurance and the interest rates have affected, uh, affected you. Huge benefits. Uh, again, just call into the show, one 855 411 with any needs that you have. And coming up next on the Money Hour, how do you improve your financial outlook? What are the smartest things that you should be doing to protect your family? Janice Hammond with Sunrise Financial Services right here on 1150 AM KKNW after the short break.